vähän tutkimaan tätä paikallista arvotusta. Eli tämmöinen Rosworthärien porukka oli aiheutunut täällä ongelmia ja ilmeisesti täällä oli jonkinlainen kolmen allianssin välinen rauhanneuvottelu tarkoitus järjestää ja nehän ei tietenkään toteudu, jos lähettiläät on kateissa ja siellä oli itse asiassa jopa kuni kuninkaita ja muuta tällaista. Ah, there you are. Go inside and talk to Captain Kaleen. Find out what happened at sea. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. I admit, I didn't expect someone like the General to fall for the Ascendant Order's patter. Guess you can never tell. Anyway, you should hear Captain Colleen's story. It made the hairs on my neck stand up straight. Lady Arabelle explained that Guild General Quentin chose to join the Ascendant Order. I knew he carried pain in his heart for the people he lost. But I never imagined his pain could lead him into such folly. Mielenkiintoista. Must Zaji tell this sad story again? The last Zaji saw of Queen Irene, she was struggling to launch a damaged skiff. Then Zaji was swept away in the storm. Zaji was entrusted with getting her safely to High Isle, but he lost her, her and Costa. Zaji must admit, he was sleeping in his cabin when the storm hit. He woke up when cold water climbed into bed with him. The next thing Zaji knows, he is being fished out of the sea by strange knights. I'm saved, Zaji thinks. Then they tied me up. The annoying knights, yes. Zaji heard a commander talking. The Lord, they called him. He was angry the Alliance leaders did not wash ashore with Zaji. Zaji did not see the Lord's face, but he spoke like a Breton noble. Zaji could hear it. Zaji lost Queen Irene and first mate Casca too. No, the wind and hyvin. the waves must have carried them somewhere else. The Lord and the Magus, the Order's leaders, they swore to comb every beach until they found her. And the others too, Zaji supposes. <laughs> I honestly didn't think we'd ever leave that cell alive. I owe you a debt of gratitude, friend. We all do. And I owe Dark Master of Gonfalon Bay payment of a different kind. Uh -huh. I visit High Isle often, and I considered Alnald a friend. Bah. An armored mage and a gang of ruffians were waiting at the shallows. They clubbed down all who made it ashore. Dark Master Arnold showed up, and I thought we were saved. But the mage... A Brent noble by his voice paid him to walk away and leave. We were nearing landfall when a huge storm swept out of nowhere. I looked for the light at Gonfalon Head, but the lighthouse was dark. We were blown off course, crashed upon some rocks. I lost sight of High King Emmerich, but somehow made it to shore. I'm not sure. I didn't see any of the royals when I waded ashore, and I was the last one for my ship to make it to the beach. The tide turned as I swam in, and no one was washed up after me. I'm afraid you won't find the High King at the shallows. If there is any way I can help with your investigation, I am at your disposal. I want to find Prince Ernskar as much as Lady Arabelle. More, even. I remember it like the ripples in my favorite pond. A storm blew up without warning. My ship was driven onto the rocks near Aminos and broke apart. All were cast into the sea. When we reached shore, those rogue knights grabbed us. I did not see what became of him. He might have been trapped in the part of the ship that was swept away. Or maybe the currents carried him to a different part of the shore. Or he might have drowned. I know that many of my crew did. Well, damn. Over here, dear, we have much to do. I adore this view. Isn't the Colossus a wondrous sight? Okay, Still, gazing upon it does nothing to quell my anxiety. Somehow the Ascendant Order learned not only about our secret peace talks, but that the Alliance leaders were going to attend. And neither do we. 
We're not even sure they're still alive, but we must hope. Your help has been invaluable thus far, my dear. And you've earned every piece of gold in this pouch. We'll find the Alliance leaders and unmask the Order. We have to. Tääpäs nousi tason nopeasti. Se kestää kohtuullisen kauan, mutta en leputtaa näitä seuralaisia, me vasta saatiin tää. Ja nyt mulla ei oo silleen hirveen kunnon, hirveen ihmeellisiä varusteita. Okei, okay, eli tää on Templari. Templarin kanssa on kyllä kiva liikkua. Okei, tää taunttais niinku vihollista. Mess. I imagine the Ascendant Order ruffians loitering outside had something to do with that. Let's look around. Hmm. Someone planning to depart doesn't set a meal on the table. A few drops of dry blood. Hmm. A scuffle, but not a murder. Joku on päättänyt se hiljentää. Guess did bribe the dark master just as Captain Kali. I think I have a picture of what transpired here. Let's talk, my dear. Nothing packed, food left on the table, and signs of a recent scuffle. I think it's safe to say Dark Master Arnold found that his ascended order friends weren't entirely satisfied with their arrangement. No, ylläri, They ylläri. obviously spirited him away. No, varmasti. The Dark Master ignored the wishes of the Ascendant Magus. Captain Kaleen saw Arnold collect another payment at the lock. I suspect he got greedy. And once he proved he wouldn't stay bribed, well, he became a liability. Se on ihan niinku pätevä, pätevä tosiaan niinku... ...teoria. The Ascendant Order's throwing around a lot of coin on High Isle. If we follow the gold, we'll find someone with wealth and local influence behind this. Another clue that a high isle noble is involved. Hmm. Perhaps they want to keep the war going. Mutta onko se niinku, jos se on pretoniaatinen, niin se ei välttämättä ole täältä saarilta. Profit, of course. That's what it always comes down to. Lord Bakaro should be able to tell us which nobles stand to lose if the war ends. Go to Steadfast Manor, northwest of the city. I'll have Jakan look for the Dark Master and then meet you there. Almost certainly. As I said, we must be careful about whom we trust. It is a concern, but it can also work to our advantage. Gold only buys loyalty for so long, and I suspect our adversaries are not as organized as they appear. We know their opening move didn't go as planned. They were interrogating the captains to try to find the missing alliance leaders. Now they've taken the dark master, who would have been more useful to them where he was. Totta. They don't trust each other. I doubt it. If dark master Arnold knew where the alliance leaders were, he would have happily sold that information to the ascendant magus in exchange for his freedom. We know he didn't because the order is still looking for them. I suspect the Order wants power, not peace. When the throne is vacant, your prospects of becoming Emperor suddenly seem a good deal more promising. That sort of prize might tempt a noble with just the right mix of ambition, gold, and imagination. Lord Bakaro worked diligently to bring the peace talks to High Isle. 
Not everyone thought that was a good idea. I'm curious as to who opposed him and why. Better yet, he won't voice suspicions without good cause. We can rely on his discretion. I want to help Lady Arabelle, but I'm concerned for the safety of my retainers. My associate might be able to help in that regard, Lord Bacaro. Lady Arabelle asks about the nobility, while two of my retainers are missing. The Society of the Steadfast will do whatever is necessary to keep its people safe. Uh, she mentioned the Ascendant Order might be involved. Do you think that's possible? Yes, I understand that you and Lady Arabelle have tangled with these brigands before. They claim to be knights, but they have no honor. Will you do as Lady Arabelle suggested and look for my retainers? I would consider it a personal favor. I sent Grenier and Denise to retrieve a shipment from the Navir docks, but I expected them back ages ago. They were traveling the road to the south. I just pray no evil befell them. The supplies we can lose, but good people are irreplaceable. Thank you, my friend. I'll confer with Lady Arabelle while we await your return. I'll tell her everything I know about the nobility of High Isle, if she really thinks that will help. I knew peace would be hard to achieve, but I never expected a war. Do be careful out there, my dear. If the Order can strike out at a benevolent association such as the Steadfast, then no one is safe from these villains. Meanwhile, I'll discuss matters with Lord Bacaro. See if we can narrow our list of suspects. Aha. Viimeisellä hengen vedoilla on kirjoittanut kirjaa. You return alone. I take it the news is not good. Grenier and Denise were not just retainers. They were friends. The steadfast shall miss them, and so shall I. Please, tell me what happened. Lordy, you were handy Palinsissa. Grenier and Denise were helping arrange a banquet at Castle Navir. Then they were to collect the supplies and return here. What could they have seen? That would cost them their lives. The banquet is just to welcome our royal guests to the island. The Ascendant Order. Plundering steadfast supplies and killing our retainers. Damn. It was brave of Grenier to try to fight back, but foolish. The supplies weren't worth their lives. So Lady Arabelle informed me. I hesitate to accuse anyone, but... Perhaps you should join me at Castle Navir. All the nobles of High Isle will be there, and if my retainers did see something at the castle, perhaps you can determine what that was. Duchess Elea of House Duforth is hosting the banquet. She's decided to go ahead and throw the party, even though our guests of honor are still missing. Go to Castle Navir's courtyard. Introduce yourself when you arrive. Be discreet. Please. My has always believed that wealth is meant to foster good works. When the three alliances went to war, I made the decision to do whatever I could to help common folk caught in their violent wake. 
So I started the Society of the Steadfast. We're not a religious organization per se, but we do take inspiration from the teachings of Stendar. We establish healing centers and other works to show compassion and mercy to those touched in by the terrible war. Says. Soldiers and commoners both. We're a small society that mostly works near the battlefields of Cyrodiil. I did turn a portion of my estate on High Isle into a healing center. We bring the badly wounded here to recuperate. The peace talks naturally grew out of our other efforts. Duchess Elea wants to project confidence, especially in light of the current situation. Rumors travel swiftly in the archipelago. The people need to believe we have things under control. I expected to pay a ransom and have the delegates back by now. Ridiculous. No one opposes peace. It's just that some of the nobles questioned if this were the right time and place. A Duchess Elea, for example, didn't want to bring the mainland's troubles to High Isle. Not without hope our efforts would bear fruit. Count Leonard of House Mornard enjoys brisk profits by supplying all sides in the war. Uh -huh. He doesn't want that to end too abruptly. Especially not in a way that makes Elea and House Dufort look good. He detests that she decided to host the talks. Rivals and partners. House Mornard built its wealth on trade. They rely on House Dufort ships to carry their goods. But the two families have long vied with each other for primacy. The Mornards resent the fact that the Duforts rule High Isle. It's a shame the Ascended Order got to Lord Bacaro's retainers before you could. What could they have seen that warranted their deaths? Perhaps we'll learn more at Castle Navir. Although I'm certainly not in the mood for a party. And our missing guests of honor will no doubt be the main topic of discussion. This is a chance to listen, as well as ask questions. Make sure you speak to Alea Dufort, Damar Dufort, and John Menard. They'll be the most important nobles present. Until we know more, I suspect everybody. But if any of the nobles are funding the Ascendant Order, I think it likely that it's one of the grand families of High Isle. Oh, that means House Dufort or House Monard. Either way, we'll know more soon. Alea is the Duchess of House Entäs Dufort, yllätys, a number ruler of High Isle. Monard is her brother and a count. John Monard is the highest ranking noble of House Monard, currently on High Isle. He's Count Leonard's cousin, representing House interests here. I don't believe we've met. Viscount. John Monard, a pleasure. My family is in shipping. We import goods from the mainland and send wares from the archipelago to markets in Tamriel. You're the investigator working with Lady Arabelle, aren't you? The Duchess explained everything to the court just before you arrived. If Lady Arabelle had consulted us, things would be different. We know what hazards await careless captains making the approach to High Isle. Her ships were simply unprepared. Don't tell me you buy into this ascendant order nonsense. A shadowy order of knights working to undermine the governments all across Tamriel? It's a ruse, my friend. A convenient fiction to protect the flawless name of House Dufort. Oh. Alea gained her station by currying favor in High Rock. Then she made a show of backing Lord Bakaro's steadfast society. But ruining the peace talks and getting heads of state killed? Blame must be placed. And she'd never fall on that sword herself. In My family Vienna. ruled the archipelago for generations, but the Duforts were never happy in our shadow. They spent years poisoning the court against us. And when my uncle Avri quietly supported King Ranser a few years back, it paid off for no, them. The High King stripped my uncle of the ducal title and gave it to the Duforts. It was an outrage, really. We took no part in Ranser's war. Well, at least the Duforts didn't get everything they wanted. We kept most of our holdings, and it eats at them. Goodness, no. That honor falls to my cousin Leonard, and he can have it. I wouldn't want the responsibility. No, I'm content managing our affairs here on High Isle. I leave the larger concerns of the business and house to my cousin, the Count. 
Okei, no näillä olisi motiivi. Such a waste. I have little patience for the vanity of our noble houses on the best of days. Right now, <laughs> I'm sure we all have better things we could be doing. I suspect you agree. You're the one assisting Lord Bacaro and Lady Arabelle, aren't you? I try to keep up on matters of state, but I confess, Alea told us all about you. I am Count de Marne, the Duchess's brother and court mage of House de Fort. Uh huh. Tell me. Has your investigation uncovered news regarding a sudden storm that appeared recently? Yeah, Belaho. Hmm. Rosworthy, that is the one. Did you hear about the one? Belaho. A hypothesis that matches my own. While my sister chases bandit knights across the countryside, I wonder about the druids who make the wild parts of High Isle their home. They have little love for civilized culture. They could be responsible. Syyttelypeli on alakanut. I don't think that storm was natural. The druids wield old magics and consort with spirits. It is well within their abilities to summon such a tempest. They mostly keep to themselves, but I suspect a ruse. Those are your culprits. Mark my words. Magic is the legacy and heritage of the Breton people. Oh, I spent my time mastering the sword and knightly pursuits in my youth, but I believe that a true Breton must study both halves of our nature, and perhaps the ways of the Druids, too. We Bretons trace our ancestry to Medes and Elves who intermingled during the early history of High Rock. Therefore, spellcraft is in our blood, and we all at least have some... Bretonialaista on siis puolihaltioita. I find the subject fascinating and decided to embrace it. No, some have forgotten our traditions, were it not for my talent, I doubt my sister would bother with a court mage. She sends me to look after Dufort interests in ports across Tamriel, rather than making full use of my arcane skills. <laughs> a pity. Welcome to Castle Nevere. Your Lady Arabelle's assistant, yes? Then you know these festivities are only for appearances sake. Our guests of honor have yet to be found. Rest assured, I intend to bring the radicals behind this plot to justice. I'm aware of most things that happen on my isle. It's true we didn't connect reports of mysterious knights to the Ascendant Order until recently. But now that we know they are one and the same, we'll quickly bring them to heal. I suggest that you and Lady Arabelle leave this matter in our hands. My knights uh -huh. have already pinpointed several sites where the Ascendant Order gathers. They are scouring High Isle for our missing guests even as we speak. Johtava teoria siis on se, että Rosvoritareilla on nää neuvottelijat vankina, mutta miksi ne kuulustelis rannalle huhtoutuneita, missä nää, mihin nää on, jos päätyneet, jos niillä olisi tieto siitä. Which is why I prefer to handle this discreetly. I suspect House Mornard is behind this. They profit greatly from the war, and they still hold a grudge against my house for overshadowing their own. Frankly, I put nothing past them. One should be careful when talking about one's neighbors. Still, Count Mornard's dislike of my family is well known. Years ago, his father backed King Ronser of Shornhelm in his dispute with High King Emmerich. Emmerich did not forget it. He punished Avrip Mornard by stripping him of his ducal title and granting it to my father instead. The Mornards remain counts, with holdings and estates throughout the Isles. But the Duforts are now the Dukes of the Sisters. My family builds ships. Our shipyards construct the finest vessels to ply the Western Seas. In reward for our service, High King Emmerich granted us the Duchy of Sisters. We rule with care and compassion for all, even the Mornards. Might I offer you a refreshment, friend? Jaha. Täällä ollaan selkeästi valepuus. Didn't think I'd miss this little soiree, did you? Listen, I have it on good authority from a very accommodating chambermaid, in fact. Uh -huh. That the Duchess has been looking into the Ascendant Order on her own. Well, I've got a plan. Uh -uh, not Jacorn, waiter. Red. I'm in disguise. 
Uh -huh. I told you about the chambermaid, right? She's one of the Duchess's personal assistants. Well, she told me where the Duchess keeps her sensitive documents, among other unmentionable items. Uh -huh. Nobles in the upper staff never pay attention to the common help. I easily filched a key from that stuck-up steward, Hersian. While I cause a distraction, you go take a look. Duchess Alea has a private study somewhere beyond the northeast door. I'll lure the guards away from the doors, but I'll need your help. Talk to one of the musicians and ask them to play the tune Stagger and Sway. It's an old favorite of mine. I'll take care of the rest. Something you need, friend? Uh, I don't really take requests. Duchess Alea provided a list of approved songs she wanted performed. That one definitely isn't one of them. Not that she would notice. I don't think anyone is really listening to the music. It's good to see that someone appreciates the arts. All right then, you'll have your song. What did for Lahio? Lords and ladies of the court, I dedicate this song and dance to the most buxom, curvaceous, voluptuous of all royals, Duchess Alea. What, you get down from there at once. <laughs> Stop this nonsense. Yeah. Uh -huh. Joo, voisin, voisin niinku noinkin tietysti sen harhautuksen tehdä. <tos> Joo, okei, okay, selvä. Tutkitaan kirjahyllyt kaikesta raskauttavasta epäilyttävistä kirjoista. Etenkin jos ne liittyy Argoniaani palvelijattariin. Karttoja. Eli Pohjoissaarella, tai siis Keskisaarella. Tuolla, tuolla ja tuolla. Yeah. Stand aside and you will find a place in the new regime. Stand against us and you will be 
Oh good, you're all right. Oh good, you're all right. It seems our adversaries decided to send a message to all those in attendance. Submit or die. A classic. Did you uncover anything useful before the Ascendant Magus made his entrance? I see. Hmm. Clearly Duchess Alea's investigation hasn't gotten very far. Perhaps we can make better use of the leads she's been developing. But we have little time to waste. The Ascendant Magus demonstrated real power. Did you notice how the ground shook when he unleashed his storm? That's not a magic I've seen before. Somehow his storm magic is causing earthquakes. That don't do any more, Marian. We recover the alliance that. leaders yet. We still have time. Because the Ascendant Magus has made a show of wanting us to fear him. Why would he care if he had what he wanted and couldn't be stopped? No. The royals elude him, somehow. But his magic... I wonder... Among the other problems plaguing High Isle, lava vents have begun to open in random locations. Between the ground shaking and the storms, could the Magus have stirred the volcano? Let's return to my manor so we can study these items more closely. Lord Vaccaro, it may not be safe to return to Steadfast Manor. Nonsense. I refuse to hide from these cretins. I'll double my guard, but they won't drive me from my home. Very well. I'll check in with you later. Jakan, let's go. And put on a shirt, my dear. Look! The Colossus! Yeah, hum. Volcanic fissures are bursting open across the aisles. Okay, then I have a the high aisles several times over the years. Never have I seen the ground so restless. It is alarming. Could Saji be right? Could the ascendant order be causing these tremors and eruptions? That's normal, I have stylish thing called Punai name. Kabuari. Yeah, see, there's Lorcanis Udahaurettu. Sen alle, mutta niin kun voihan tää tietysti olla joku, joku niin kun erikoinen paikka, Storm erikoinen saari. Uh, I am troubled. If the Ascendant Magus can use powerful storm magic against his enemies, does he also command the tremors and volcanic fissures? It is maddening to even contemplate. No vahva ehkä. Oh, Zaji is right to worry then. The loss of a monument might be the least of our concerns if the Ascendant Order can rouse the volcano. Lady Arabelle is inside, friend. Perhaps she'll know what to do. Yeah. Was it too much to hope that one of High Isle's nobles would openly admit their guilt? Ah, oh, well. At least we can rule out Duchess Alea. Her notes make it clear she was caught off guard by the attack on the Delegate's ships. And this map. Interesting. If this map really points to sites important to the Ascendant Order, then it's our best lead so far. Here, my dear. Take this with my thanks. With your continued help, we'll find the Royals and discover who's behind the Order before long. We must. The map you acquired provides a number of leads that might help us find High King Emric, Queen Iren, and Prince Ernstar. As the line from the Investigator Veil books reads, there's always another mystery. Let's get to it, my dear. One is clearly the Dufort shipyards, where the house constructs new vessels. Another is near Stonelord Grove, home to a circle of friendly druids. The third appears to be a cave near Tor Dreak. Hmm, a strange set of disparate locations indeed. I'll leave that to you. Investigate all three and report back here. I'll send Jakan to the docks, Captain Colleen to the cave, and Valesia to the grove. Rendezvous with them at each location 
and see what you can uncover about our rogue knights. We don't know what the Ascended Order is doing out there, but hopefully something at one of those locations will lead us to our missing royals. But do be careful. I'd hate to see such a capable agent get hurt while assisting me. A review of the evidence. Excellent idea. Lord Bukaro is sponsoring peace talks here on High Isle. But the ships carrying High King Emric, Queen Irene, and Prince Ernskar never arrived. We suspect the Ascendant Order is somehow responsible. An excellent deduction. They also noticed that the Ascendant Magus and Lord spoke with the accents of Breton nobility. We believe a High Isle noble is funding this band of rogue knights. Then you recover this map from Castle Nevir. Precisely. Since we also know that the Ascendant Order is still looking for the missing royals, we'll use them to point us in the right direction. Investigate the three sites on the map and learn everything you can, my dear. Leave no stone unturned. I did. I arrived just in time to see part of it collapse. As much as it saddens me to see the proud Baron Admiral fall, we have more pressing problems to deal with. I'll mourn the Colossus of Gonfalon Bay after the Alliance leaders are safe. Oh, cool. I'll back you up. Hey there, fish. We make it to the spot, Tala. and what do you know? There's some kind of cave here, just like the map suggested. By myself? No, I was waiting for you. I wouldn't have even noticed the entrance if I wasn't looking for it. Probably why the Ascendant Order chose it. That's the thing about islands and ships. You can always find the rats. Not alone you won't. For all we know, the whole damned Order is meeting inside. With any luck, I'll get a chance to pound the bastards that wrecked the spearhead. Let's go. Tarnishet rotto. Salakuljettajien paikka. Tekemys samoja kuesteja tai eri kuesteja. Recognize that one. He was aboard my ship. These lodestones must be how they targeted us with the storm. Pettureita. Lady Arabelle was right, damn it. We do have a rat in our company. Now I owe her a bottle of Tamika's dark rum. <laughs> Someone gave our plans to the Ascendant Order, and they somehow used lodestones to track us and target us with that storm. Not a lot. Lady Arabelle, Lord Bacaro, and some of his top aides, the three captains, Duchess Alea and a few nobles, and anyone the Alliance leaders shared it with. There's one thing I learned about royal courts. They leak like a sinking ship. We met briefly early on. Then we each sailed different indirect routes to get here. I didn't rendezvous with the other ships until we were almost at the archipelago. Anyway... I guess this shows us how the Ascendant Order rewards its agents. <laughs> Look around. These traders survived the storm and the shipwrecks and returned here just like they were told to. And what do they get for their trouble? A blade to the heart for each of them. Come on. Let's get out of here and tell Lady Arabelle.
hei, uudet kengät löytyi sulle. What would you ask of me? Eli kompanioita varustellaan puhumalla niille. Ja sitten ne, ne löytyy omat varusteet, eli, eli sun, sun normi tavarat, mitä sä ehkä kräftää tai löydät, niin ne, ne ei kelpaa kompanioille. No more, please. Yeah, I'll watch the door. You, you were at the docks with Lady Arabelle. I thought the Ascended Magus had returned. He didn't need tools to torture me, not with his magic. The pain, the fire, it was inside my skin. Get me out of here, please. You're right. I let the gold blind me. But look, I knew nothing about special cargo. Or important passengers, or Aminos, or any of it. Even Lady Arabelle said the ships were just carrying supplies vital for Lord Bakaro's conference. <laughs> niin. <laughs> ne oli vitaaleja. Mitä sä odotit? I gave the Ascended Magus a list of names. Folks he could trust to keep quiet. Muscle to collect the goods when the ships ran aground. Uh -huh. But it was all a sham. They captured the captains. Then gave orders to kill anyone else who washed ashore. Are you serious? He didn't trust me. I never got a real name or saw his face. But he's rich, I can tell you that much. Like nobility rich. Royal rich. I could smell it on them, you know? All the perfumes and soaps and fancy clothes. It's an island to the north. With jungle rock where they send prisoners to disappear. The Magus gave orders to look for someone on Aminos. Whoever he's searching for, he moved his knights from the shallows to there. That's all I know. Cut me free! Ah, vali valinta tilanne. I cut you free. Get out of here now. You deserve whatever they have planned for you. Um. Vähän tiukka valinta nyt. Toi kuitenkin puhuu, että laulaa, että se on, se on niinku, no, me käytiin täällä, joten mä varmaan päästään sen vapaaksi vaan. Thank you. I'll find a way to make up for this. I swear it. Uh -huh. Nice work. I wouldn't have been so merciful, but at least we know more than we did. I'll see you back at the manor. happened here you can hear it incredible ah there you are Valesia told me of your ongoing investigation into the ascendant order I think these insurgents may be the cause of at least some of the groves anguish uh -huh. hello my friend you're just in time I met Ravana here just as she was starting to look at the ascendant. It can't be a coincidence that we're so close to one of the ascendant order sites marked on the Duchess's map. We're not sure yet. Based on everything that Lady Arabelle has told me, it's conceivable that the ascendant Magus could be responsible for the disturbance here. Ravana is trying to locate its source. I could use your help. Ravana's ritual is somewhat involved, and I'd like to help her prepare. Can you gather some reagents that we'll need? She requires three Blooming Song flowers and an Azure Torch Bug before we can begin. Blooming Song flowers grow in the copse of trees just north of here. You'll know them by their distinct blue and purple petals. As for the Torch Bug, Ravana told me they congregate near the lake at the heart of the grove. They are quite beautiful. Let's see. The flowers are in good condition, and the torch bug is alive and well. You treated nature with deep respect, and you have my thanks. Perhaps the grove will repay us in kind. Let's begin. All things are connected. Spirits of nature reside in the swaying trees, the blooming flowers, the glittering torch bugs. It can be difficult to hear their songs, 
even for those of us who listen. But it's there. Can you hear it? The grove is in pain, projecting a sorrow that's felt by everything nearby. This ritual will ask the rocks and the trees and the insects to simply share what they know, to lead us to the source of this disturbance. There, we might find answers. I perform the ritual, and we see where this trail leads. Stand back. This will only take a moment. Bones of the earth, spirits of the wild, sing unto your servants. Lead us to the source of your pain. Look! The spirits have sent their messengers. Oh, how beautiful. Follow the torch bugs, friend. They will lead you to the source of the disturbance. An enchanted lodestone, a cracked staff, and a smoking fissure. All left behind in a place once used by the ancient druids of the island. Curious. Well, the staff is obviously connected to Breton magecraft. Definitely not the implement of a druid. A cracked staff is a bad sign. Whatever they were trying to do here, they probably didn't get the result they were hoping for. I've used such stones before. They help focus magicka over a distance. They come in pairs, you see, forming a sympathetic link between two points. So this spell, whatever it was, was aimed at a point outside this circle. Whoever cast this ritual obviously attempted to tap into the deep magic of High Isle. The power beneath the surface here is very... seductive. But, as I am sure Ravana would tell you, using it and controlling it are not the same thing. Not with certainty, but I can make an educated guess. If the Ascendant Magus used this site to summon the storm that wrecked the Alliance ships, then obviously he lost control. The result wasn't what he expected, and now the Order is scrambling. Take the item back to Mandrake Manor, my friend. I can do a more thorough examination there. Ravana? If you'll allow me, I believe I can help you dispel the lingering disturbance. My circle and I thank you, Valesia. There you are, my dear. I was beginning to worry. Tell me everything. What did you find at the sites marked on Alea's map? Traitors. This confirms our suspicions, but lodestones are powerful arcane focuses. What else did you discover, dear? Lodestones on the ships and at the ritual site? That must be how the Ascendant Magus targeted the ships with his storm. Remarkable. But was the storm meant to delay the ships or give the order the opportunity to capture the Alliance leaders? <laughs> niin tämä tutkimus nyt osoittaa sen, miten se tehtiin, mutta ei miksi. Tässä on vielä niin hyvin syvällinen arvotus jäljellä. So the Ascendant Magus isn't infallible. That's good to know. And the evidence we've uncovered up to this point tells us the Order believes the Alliance leaders are still alive. They're actively hunting for them. We must find them first. Aminos, I suppose it's possible the leaders washed on to that God's forsaken island. Well, I determine our best approach to that place. I need you to go to Shipwreck Shores and aid Captain Suzo. I received an urgent message right before you arrived. The shoals are a graveyard, the final rest for vessels that met an unfortunate end in the straits between High Isle and Amnos. Go and help Captain Suzo, dear. He made it sound quite urgent. I sent Suzo and Zaji to search along the northern shores for signs of their wrecked ships or the Alliance leaders. Suzo's message was short but direct. He found something and needed help. Something. You're the first to return, so you get the job. You'll need to take a small boat from the north shore of the island. There's usually one on the beach west of the default shipyards. <laughs> 